What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we won our sixth badge against Jasmine, and now it is finally time for us to go to the Safari Zone because in our last episode, too, we got the call from Baoba, and uh, he's letting us know that hey, you know, the Safari Zone is wide open. Come in visit you know come take a look at the the safari zone and all that stuff so we're gonna make a quick side quest to the safari zone and uh, see what it's all about now if you guys have noticed that you know some of the buildings are looking a little pixelated and all that stuff it's because I'm using the original Desmume uh, application that way we can go through the cave areas if you guys don't remember when when we go to cave areas it gets dark and it's just not that great you know we can't see anything so Let's see, just around the corner, really fun, different kinds of Pokemon, and, uh, yes, okay, so... Why don't you take so long, why don't you drop by, won't you? Sure, yes, I will, okay, so... Yes, that's what we're gonna be doing right here, is we're gonna be going straight into the Safari Zone. Now, this has been added into Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver because, well, many of you guys have complained about, you know, a Safari Zone being taken away in Pokemon uh, Gold, Silver, and Crystal. And yes, this is for added content, because we're going to be battling against a bunch of people right here. So, let's go right ahead and start battling our opponents. This is a Dunsparce. Holy crud. Okay, so a Dunsparce is a, uh, you know, uh, wow, we can actually battle the Dunsparce. And, well, he's going to be coming out with another one, so let's go right ahead and go with Nessie right here. Make it easier on us. It's kind of funny, because the very first uh, gym battle we went to against uh, Chuck, obviously... We kind of we kind of had a hard time just trying to battle this guy, but then last episode kind of just you know it was the complete opposite. So it was like wow, really? Oh yeah. So there it is, guys. We have defeated another individual right here, and well, there are quite a few areas that you can actually go to. I'm going to talk to this guy right here, and I'm not good with large crowds, so I'm camping out here with my Pokemon. Are are you the same way? Sure, yes, I am. Now. This area right here is also a place where you can actually find some extra stuff when it comes to the legendary Pokemon of Hoenn. Later on in our walkthrough, towards I would like to say the very end of our, our walkthrough, we're going to be going to a secret area right here where we can actually get ourselves one of the legendary Pokemons of Hoenn. And hell, we might even use a code to get all three of these Pokemon. Especially Rayquaza, you know. Okay, so let's grab this little sucker. We found ourselves a revive. And, well, let's go right ahead and move on right here. Now, the funny thing is, going into these little cave areas, it is said that you can actually find yourself a Steelix in this area. I really, really do want to find a Steelix, because if I can, then, well, I'm going to capture that guy right here inside this this place. I am looking at the whole thing right here, the, the, the guidebook, okay? And it's saying, let me hold on, let's go back right here. Let's go back a little bit. Um, yes, you can find a Steelix right here. And where is it? Where is it? It is very, very rare in the Cliff Cave. So what is going to happen, guys, is I'm going to try and look for this Pokemon and then uh, get back to you guys. But let's see. Where am I right here? We're at the sea level. And unfortunately, we can't do anything because uh, later on ahead, there is a waterfall and we can't... We can't go through that waterfall just yet. So, what I'm going to do right here, guys, is... I'm going to try and find Steelix, because, well, I want a Steelix. I really do. It is a very, very rare Pokemon, so I'll be right back with you guys. And would you look at that, guys? We have found ourselves a Steelix after five good minutes. Many of you guys already know that in Pokemon... In Pokemon Crystal, my last walkthrough, yes... I traded for a Steelix because it was a very, very good option, and I did not regret a single thing about it because, holy crud, was it a tank of a Pokemon. Now, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to make sure that I can capture this guy because, well, you know, it could be, well, it, it could be a good use, but it's just mainly because I want to capture it. So let's go right ahead and throw a heavy ball since, you know, it is a very, very heavy Pokemon. Come on, baby. Stay in that ball. There's two. Oh my god, nearly, nearly got it. And, well, I could hit it again with a, you know what, let's go right ahead and heal up this Pokemon, because I really want to capture this guy. That way I can say that I actually have it, and, well, there we go, rock throw. 
And these... Yeah, okay, so since its defense is pretty high right there, I'm gonna try and get it. And... Okay, so let's go right ahead and use this guy again. And... Well, let's go right ahead and use another heavy ball. Come on, baby, come on. Oh, nearly caught this guy right here. And, well, let's go one more time. And there it is, guys, throwing out that peace sign. We have caught Steelix. Oh, my God. So, here it is, guys. Steelix, the Iron Snake Pokemon. Both steel and ground. Its body has been compressed deep underground. As a result, it is, it, 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 it is even harder than a diamond. And you guys already know what nickname I'm going to give this guy right here. So, let's go right ahead and give it its nickname. I bequeath to you the good old nickname of... If I could just switch this. Serpentera. Serpent... Terra after the, well, you know, after the, 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 uh, Zord from Lord Zer Lord Zed and his Serpentera. Okay. I may have spelled it incorrectly, but there it is. There is Serpentera. It has been a while, buddy. We caught you. Anywho, let's go straight up into this area right here. As many of you guys already know, Steelix is a very, very hard Pokemon to find and capture. I believe it's only like 1%. 1% that you can actually find it. And it took me five minutes to find this guy, so... Let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with the let's go with guy like let's go with Pokemon that need the need the training because well you know we got a battle coming up later on. And here we got these trainers. Thom one plus one, but the two of us are much stronger. Okay, the two of us aren't just some boring pair. Yeah, I don't say. Okay, so here we go, taking on good old buddies, Double Team Thumb and Kia, and well, they're gonna be coming out with some pretty good Pokemon right here, so let's go with a, let's go with that, and let's go with a dig attack right here, and well, we're gonna be digging, and we're gonna be hitting everybody with a, well, we're gonna be hitting with that, so let's go right ahead and use a Rain Dance, and of course, this guy's gonna be protecting itself, which is annoying, so let's go with a Surf Attack yet again. And this time, let's go with Dig on and like the buzz. And, well, I didn't really help myself much with that Rain Dance, but here it is. And Magmar has been defeated. Nessie grows level 26. And... So let's go right ahead and go with an Ice Shard right here. And Ice Shard, obviously the equivalent of Quick Attack. And, well, we... <laughs> We're getting levels just like that. Look at that. Okay. Alrighty, so let's move on right here. And I believe there might be one more one more trainer around. Now, this could be something. No, it's not. Always so curious of what I can actually find. And, well, look at this. I, I don't know if we can surf on this. No, we can't surf on this thing, okay? So, here we're going to be finding an extra item. And look at this. We found ourselves a lagging tail. This right here. Let's see. Let's see what the lagging tail is. Uh, okay, so an item held by a Pokemon, it is tremendously heavy and makes the holder move slower than usual, which, uh, I mean, I guess you could use it for, like, strategic purposes, you know, uh, for online battles and all that stuff, but I don't even think po people do online battles on here anymore, so, yeah. And, well, let's go with a Super Potion right here. Give that to Nessie. And, well... Let's go right ahead and continue on right here. Again, I don't think you can surf under this area, but you will be finding some Pokemon trainers right here. And here it is. Watching over my girlfriend makes my heart sore. And we're just going to speed it through because, yes, they're all in love. And they're coming out with an Onyx and a Cloyster. All right, this one. And let's go with a dig one on this one right here. So digging out, and here comes a Surf Attack, which defeats an Onyx. And... An Aurora Beam misses, so we're going to go with the Rain Dance, and bam, just like that, we win. See? Double team. Alrighty. So, Professor Oak right here. What is he? Why is he calling? Hello, this is Professor Oak. You're catching a lot of Pokemon, aren't you? Okay, that was... <laughs> that right there was a use... Yeah, that wasn't even a useful call. Okay, whatever. Okay, so... Let us move on to Route 48, and as you guys already know, you can find some interesting Pokemon in this grassy area right here. Uh, but for these purposes, I do not want to. I do not want to go ahead and uh, battle any of them. One of these Pokemon you can actually find is a Tauros, and I think a Miltank. But if you cross right here, 
you will be able to find this, and that is a nugget. And, well, I'm getting the handbook out. And from what it looks like, the tall grass at Route 47, you can actually find a ditto, Farfetched, Fero, Gloom, Miltank, Noctel, Radicate, and Spiro. Uh, you don't say. Now, in Route 48, you'll be able to find Diglett, Farfetch, Fero, Drafric, Gloom, Growlithe in uh, Heart Gold, Hopip, Tauros, and Vulpix in Soul Silver. So, that's pretty awesome right there. So let's go right ahead and move on. I'll be capturing. I will be capturing some Pokemon later on right here. And well, look at this. We are in the Safari Zone gate. And well, let's see. What do we need to do? I'm gonna heal up my Pokemon real quick. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so my Pokemon are now nice and healed. And well, we're gonna be going straight to the Safari Zone. Look at that place with the big old ball right here. And Boba is gonna look at us. He's gonna be like, "Hi, I've been waiting for you. What do you think?" This is a brand new Safari Zone, by the way. I just had an idea. Would you like to take the Owner of Aptitude test? Sure. Right on. Let me explain how this test works. It's very easy. All you have to do is catch one Geodude at the Safari and show it to me. There are in the, grasses, uh, the grass closest to the entrance. It shouldn't take that long before you catch one. Good luck. Okay, so here's the thing. This little computer right here, it's still under development, but this right here actually changes the terrain in, in the Safari Zone, which of course will include some different varieties of Pokemon. So we're going to be capturing, we're going to be starting off with the very beginning right here, trying to capture some Pokemon. One of them is a Geodude, because eventually we want to be owners of this place, right? We never owned anything. Not a lot of stuff, okay? So let's go. And here we are in the safari zone and well the grassy area is right here so you'll be able to find yourself some kind of pokemon right here so let's go right ahead and speed this up a little bit see what we can actually find and the way you get these pokemon is very simple guys it's the same way you throw a bait you throw mud at it and you throw a pokeball and if you manage to not well if you manage to like to capture it at the first try that's pretty awesome but bait obviously is to to get it closer to you. Mud is to weaken it just a little bit or take, well, to make it easier to capture, but it is uh, more susceptible to running away from you and all that stuff. And good gravy. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Obviously, I just throw Pokeballs because, well, I get lucky eventually. And there is the Geodude. I am gonna put it in the PC. And, well, let's go ahead and travel and see what else we can actually find. Here we are in another area right here. There's a swampy area, and I kind of want to see what kind of Pokemon you can find. And here is Eradicate. And... Wow. Okay, so the Eradicate has fled. This, I believe, is section number two. And I don't think you can actually find some areas right here. So let's go right ahead and go into the swampy area. As you guys can see, the swampy area will hold some poison-type Pokemon and Pokemon like Wooper, Quagsire, and all that stuff. And well, I'm going to try and see if I can find something right here before I lose my time. And here we found ourselves in Ekans, and that was an easy catch right there. Look at that. Okay. So that right there is an easy catch. So Ekans, the snake Pokemon, it can freely detach its jaw to swallow a large, uh, large prey whole. It can become too heavy to move, however. Okay. And, yeah, I do not want to nickname this Pokemon. So let's go, ahead, let's go ahead and see what other Pokemon you can actually find. And here we have a Weezing, which, you know... It's a very, it's a very difficult Pokemon to actually try and capture, as you guys can see. I really don't care about the bay or the mud, but you know, I just want to capture Pokemon and all that. So let's go right ahead and see what's here. And Ekans is all you're gonna find now. Eventually, when you start switching terrains, you will be able to find much more rare Pokemon. I believe Pupitar is one of those guys that you know many people uh, seek after. Here we have a Rhyhorn, and we capture, we capture ourselves a Rhyhorn right here, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, we can't evolve it into its final stage because, well, we can't really trade here. So here's Rhyhorn, the Spikes Pokemon. It is in inept at turning because of its four short legs. It can only charge and run in one direction. Oh, wow, that's kind of... that, that kind of sucks. Because, well, yeah. Just wait until it evolves. And, well, let's try this one more time. And here's a Tauros. Obviously, this is going to be a Pokemon that's going to be more difficult to capture, so... 
Let's see. I'm just showing you guys the Pokemon you can actually find. And wow, almost caught that Tauros right there. And here we have a Nidoran female, which we already caught a while back. Another Nidoran female. What is this? And, well, Nidoran male. We already did that. And the funny thing is we can actually evolve our Nidoran female now if we wanted to. And here we found ourselves a Paris. Easy capture right there. And, well, we're not going to name this Pokemon. So let's go find some Pokemon right here. Obviously, going speed, like speeding through is easier because, you know, so much, well, it is easier just to find different kinds of Pokemon. And here we found ourselves a Jigglypuff that will flee against us. And this one right here is a new area. And we're going to be finding ourselves a Magnemite. And, well, look at that, an Onyx. <laughs> That's funny. Didn't we just capture the Steelix? We did. And, well, let's see, what do we have here? Oh, look at that, Kangaskhan. That right there, rare Pokemon. Very, very rare Pokemon. And, well, I wish you guys good luck with trying to capture that Pokemon because, well, you know, it's not so often you actually capture these Pokemon. So here we go, Kangaskhan, and almost caught it. And here we have a Machop. Come on, Kangaskhan, you know you want to be on my team. Maybe I might use it. I don't know. Okay, so now we're just going to get Machops right here. Dang, Kangaskhan's. And, well, let's see. Let's go right here. Well, we got a Magnemite right here. So let's go right ahead and try and capture this Pokemon. And there it is, guys. We caught ourselves a Magnemite. Here is Magnemite, the Magnet Pokemon, electric and steel. It is attracted to electromagnetic waves. It, can, it may approach trainers if they are using their Poke Gear. Now, originally I had planned to actually capture this Pokemon, Magnemite, and, uh, you know, evolve it into, evolve it into a Magnezone, but the, only, the problem is that there are no location right here. There's no location right here where you can actually evolve uh, Magnemite or Magneton into its final form, Magnezone. And that's because you actually have to trade it to Pokemon, uh, you, you have to trade it to black and white, and unfortunately, I can't trade right here, guys. It takes a very, very special thing to do, and you know what? I'm not really going to deal with that, and, well... Oh, nearly captured that Pokemon. Oh my god, come on. Kangaskhan, you will be mine. Damn it. Okay. So, and I'm throwing mud at this Pokemon. Of course, he flees. And... Yeah, we're, we're, we're not going to be going to capture these Pokemon, so let's go right back over here. See what we could actually find. And we're going to be finding another Geodude, which eventually after we get out here, we, we need to actually... Well, there it is. We caught ourselves two Geodudes. After we... Well, after we're done with this whole thing, we just need to, you know... Yeah, we need to, whatchamacallit, uh, get that Geodude out of our PC. And yeah, so I'm trying to run out the Pokeball, so here we go again. And we have run out of all these Pokeballs. And yes, I did have fun. So the next thing we need to do is not there. Actually, let's talk to this guy. Show me the Geodude once you caught one. Okay, good luck. Okay, so where is the PC? They should have a PC right here. This place right here is the reception zone or the the Safari Zone link. What is this? Oh, okay. So I'm only assuming this is the what you call the Pal Park, where you can actually get. You can actually send Pokemon from your Generation 3 cartridges to that lo uh, to this location right here. Which, you know, it, it, it is giving me an idea. Maybe I should. Maybe I should bring in some Pokemon from Generations 2 and 3. So let's go right ahead and grab that Geodude, whichever Geodude we get. And let's just go ahead and switch out. Uh, let's go ahead and switch out Nessie for just the time being. And let's go right ahead and do this. Let's go right here. And let's go right back to the Safari Zone gate. And talk to this guy. He's gonna be like, oh wonderful, you've got a Geodude. You've passed the first test. Da -da 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 -da. Huh, I didn't tell you that there were two tests. That's right, becoming an owner is not that easy. The second test is, well, I am still preparing for it. I will let you know once it's ready. You need to just wait just a little. I will call you when the Poke Gear. So that is pretty much it right there guys and well this actually happens way before you actually go into the Pokemon League so if you guys want to wait for that one then I would say just wait for that right there 
Other than that, we have completed this episode right here. In the next one, we will be going back to Ecritech City to get, or we will be going back to Mahogany Town in order to get our seventh badge. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being as patient as always. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. See you guys.